So today on Compost TV we're looking at the assessment of bulk density or apparent density. In the Australian Standard AS4454 in the 2012 edition, we've incorporated a bulk density method for bulk product, that's in Appendix J. So what we're looking at and what bulk density allows us to do is it allows us to translate between volume in litres or cubic metres to mass in tonnes or kilograms. All right, so it's a measure of mass per unit volume. So we measure it in kilograms per litre or we measure it in tonnes per cubic metre. The way that we do it is we take pails and we calibrate them for volume. To calibrate a pail for volume we need to use a vessel of known quantity. So this is one litre. Now we don't have to rely on this kitchen jug and the accuracy of it. We can take a weight for one litre should be one kilogram. All right, so we can ensure that that's accurate enough. We're pouring this in one litre at a time and then marking around the inner rim where the surface of the water meets the edge of the bucket. To do that, we can use, there's, there's, some, there's markers that you can get that'll mark onto wet surfaces, works quite nicely. If you put a little bit of um, detergent in the water, it'll take off the meniscus and remove surface tension, give you a nice flat surface to mark onto. Right. So this one's been marked up. So you see we're up to 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So there's a mark there for each litre. So it allows you to assess the volume that you have in the bucket. So let's, let's add into this one. This is a random representative sample that we've taken from our compost pile. So it best represents what we've got in the pile and the bulk density of that material. We're loading this in loose into the bucket. Okay, so we've started this on a clean, flat surface. We've levelled off the bucket. And again, onto a solid and flat surface, we're dropping that or allowing it to tamp from five centimetres, and we're dropping it and allowing it to settle five times. Three, four, oops, <laughs> five. Trying to drop it nice and flat. Now, if we have a look around here, you'll see that that's coming in level with the 19 litre mark. So what that allows us to do, given that we know the weight of the pail, is it allows us to put that onto a scale and get a weight for a settled 19 litre volume. And then that gives us our ratio for weight or mass to volume. We can use that as a ratio. So bulk density is really important for us from an operational point of view and also from a sales point of view. In order to book out the materials correctly for an order or a delivery, being able to have some measure for the quantity of materials we've dispatched is really important. If one of your customers complains that you've sold him a short load and he hasn't got as much as he's paid for, you can track back through your records. Whether you've weighed it out using your weigh bridge or bucket scales on your loader, all right, you can work out and record how much you've actually supplied and you can translate that tonnage into volume using your bulk density for bulk products method. But it's also important for production. If you've got a compost pile and you've assessed it at 40% moisture and you want to bring it up to 45 or 50%, well the way that you do that, the amount of irrigation water or makeup irrigation water that you apply is dependent upon the mass of material that you have there. So one of the ways that you can assess the quantity that you have in the yard in a pile is you can do a simple ground survey which we've covered in a different episode and then you can use your bulk density to translate that into mass. So you can use it on an operational basis as well. It's important for you for your load carrying when you're shifting stuff in trucks because they'll have weight limitations on them. Mostly we work on the basis of bucket science when we're batching materials together for potting mixes or whether it's for landscaping soils. We do that on a volumetric basis. This allows us to translate that into mass. But really importantly, for nutrient content and a range of other attributes, it's relevant on a dry weight basis. 
So again, if we're selling per cubic metre, how do we translate that back to a per weight basis? We need to know the bulk density. We need to know the moisture content. These are essential skills that you need to have on site at your compost facility. These are tests that you should be conducting on a regular basis. You need to maintain hygienic practices to avoid cross-contamination from your products when you're using the same tool over and over again for a different range of products or a wider range of products. Look after these and avoid having to do it again. It's a painful exercise measuring these out and getting your calibrations in shape. Look after them, keep them clean. It'll help you to make sure that the product that you're making, sampling and testing, that everything is working on a more reliable basis and you can make a more consistent quality product and consistently and better meet the needs of your customers. That's it for this episode. If you head along to the Compost TV YouTube channel, you'll find all the other videos. Or you can head to the RAU website, www.recycledorganics.com. You'll find loads of information for download and also access to services for all your composting adventures. Thanks for watching.